Good morning, Texas. This is Sherman from Mower Superstore in Shiner, Texas. We're doing a walk around video of all our inventory. We're doing this in one take. If I mess up, we're just gonna keep on going because it's normal life. I mess up talking all the time. Lots of Makita stuff. We have a weed eater pole saw kit. You're looking at $309. This is the bigger two battery head for $290. You got quick attachment. Parts back here zooming on this button. This is your quick quick string attachment heads that you can put on your uh, weed eaters. You just put you just put the string on one side, pull it through, turn the head, you're good to go. This is a blower attachment for this weed eater up here. You're looking at 160 bucks for this blower attachment. Here's a head trimmer from Makita. Blower, Makita. Some good stuff right here. We use it all the time. Makita backpack blower. One of the most powerful backpack blowers there is out there. 445. Here is a right angle drill with a bit attachment. You're looking at 847 for, with battery, charger, it all works. You can buy extra batteries, $139. Oh yeah, don't get to forget to get your extra koozie. Makita. Chainsaw blades. We got a six and a half inch uh, circular saw. Comes with the battery down here. We got a cordless grease gun. Everybody has bought that thing loves it. We got a radio. Lights. This light is bright as I'll get out. It works great. Let me blind you. Right here we got a cordless sander, angle grinder. Every shop needs one of these. Fabric cutter, die grinder, right angle drill. Up here is an air compressor. Throw that in your truck and an extra battery. You'll never have a flat again that you can't fill unless you puncture the heck out of it. We got Makita sets. This set right here on Amazon. I have, I have my prices set to beat Amazon prices. You can't get it cheaper than here. Maybe, hopefully not. All right, Makita tower. Let's see, let's check this thing out. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Where is the, this thing slides up. Troy, how's this thing work? You're the one that did this. Ah, that helps. <laughs> this slides up to about eight feet. These lights can go in and out. We had it on the other day. It lasted for about six hours on dim. All right. Here we got a Ferris hurricane blower. I think blows so hard it took Concrete off the off asphalt off over here. All right, swing around. Got the sprayers. Over here we have Greenworks Commercial Weed Eaters. These are 80 volt weed eaters. The most powerful electric weed eater in the industry. Chainsaws, head strippers, the whole works. Backpack blowers, blowers. Right here is the 800 side-by-side side from Greenworks. This side-by-side side goes 61 miles on a charge. After that, it goes into limp mode, goes about five more miles in limp mode. It is built around a gas frame. Like this, this vehicle was made by High Sun, and then Greenworks bought the vehicle and put their electric motors into it. So this thing is built for gas power, but has an electric engine in it. It's a good machine. Everybody, the guy that bought the last one loved it. All right, guys. Here we have Red Max. Weeder. It disassembles right here. You put a pull saw attachment on that. There's a whole bunch of different attachments you can put on this Red Max weeder. This is pressure washer gas. We have electric power uh, pressure washer right there. Generators. Come with me. Right here we got the 8,000 series generator for Briggs, 7,000 generator, 
Then we got the pure side generator over there and up top over there. Read to me. The pure side generator is a generator that you can use with electronics. You don't have to worry about power surges frying your generator or frying your electronics. All right, let's come down here. All right, over here. We have a wagon, that wagon is sold, so you can't buy that. Here's a push mower from Greenworks. Again, it's 80 volt, most powerful mower in the industry from electric. This is a self-propelled mower, 21 inch. Here's the Makita, self-propelled. All right, follow me. Red Max trimmers. They, uh, it's kind of confusing with Red Max trimmers because they have like 30 different models. We only carry two of them because you want a light one, you want a powerful one, and then you want a brush hog. So, let me show you the big one. This is the big one. One here in the back. Model is uh, 350S. This is the next size up, or down actually. It's the 230, 260T, and I had the 230T. If you want, if you're a homeowner and you just want a light weed eater that's going to last for a long time, do the 230. If you have uh, five to ten acres and you want to weed eat that nothing too serious the 260 and if you got a bunch of tree lines and brush lines and fence lines that are all overgrown go with the big one all right chainsaw lineup for red max you're looking at some of the most powerful chainsaws in the industry we carry a 28 16 i'm sorry a 24 Hang on here, let me see. 18, let me get my numbers right. 18, 16, and a 14. This little one up here, I've had multiple tree trimmers, guys. You know, the guys that go up the trees carry this stuff. They absolutely love that little chainsaw. So it's one of the best they've ever used. This is a telescoping pole saw from uh, Red Max. And it's one of the longest ones in the industry. I think it's like 16 feet. The number one thing from Red Max that they're all known for, backpack blowers. You will not find a more um, stable, more powerful blower. Nah, there's like, I think the Echo has one more, more powerful. But this has the longest life, 20% um, more power than the still, 20% lighter, more fuel efficient. They have bigger tanks. They're a badass blower. I've had people travel from over five hours away just to come by these blowers. We got shears up here. We got lopping shears, um, bypass lopping, all kinds of different tree trimming devices. They're resharpenable. You can resharpen these things. Most of these cheap ones you buy at Walmart, you can't resharpen. All right, guys. We're gonna go down the uh, right mower lineup. Here's the 72 inch ZK standard. As you can tell, it has a three by two tube framing. It has a Vanguard 37 horse. Check this out, this is pretty cool. Cup holders, a very soft place to stand, pretty good bounce there. Back up a little bit, Troy, so they can see the, the deck as it goes up and down. Watch the engine as I lower the deck. The whole engine and deck go up and down. One thing to think about is that I'm lowering a 72 inch deck and a 37 horsepower engine and it's very easy like this is not hard to do the gearing mechanism they have in this handle is done very well they have one thing that's uh different to right is the handles up front here and in the back of this bar so you, some people like to be back here to control from here some people like to be up here Whatever your preference is. Moving on to the ZK or to the uh, XT, 40 horsepower. Uh, you got your brake up front here. Try to check this out. Come over here. This whole platform about goes up and down when you sit on it. Here's the spring. Here's the knob to adjust that tension on that spring. Very easy to adjust. So, back out a little bit. 
So the whole platform was up and down, plus you have a suspension seat. Another thing I like is the adjustable handles. For big people like me, all you have to do is turn this knob and you can rotate the handle however you like. Make it fit you. Come around the back side of the truck. the top this is a vanguard system you'll have to change your oil every 500 hours bring it to my base 500 hours between oil changes okay you're saving money it also cools the oil down which means that your engine is going to last a very long time in this texas heat right here is two hydraulic pumps notice that they are in metal you do have two sight glasses that you can check the, the level of the fluid Key point of this hydraulic system, only change your hydraulic fluid every thousand hours. A lot of mowers out there, you're gonna change your hydraulic fluid every 100 to 250 hours, okay? With this mower, you're gonna save yourself about 400 bucks every 200 hours from changing your hydraulic fluid out. This mower is at 15.5, but in four or five years, you're gonna save yourself that money if you bought a $12,000 mower versus a $15,000 or $14,000 mower. It's good savings. All right, so head up that way. Coming at you, bud. Oh, jeez. All right, under me. So at the end over here, we got a 72 inch, then we got a 61 inch and a 52 inch. 61, 52, 61, 72. All right, swing around. Swing around, okay. I gotta boss them around a little bit sometimes. <laughs> All right, here we got a 52 inch electric mower. Everybody says, oh, electric, oh, it's so bad, so bad. Oh, we don't wanna do electric. If I had to mow a school or a county that had no emissions or something like that, Greenworks mowers what I go with. There's other brands that do electric. They don't even come close to Greenworks. It's 80 volt power. This thing mows 12 acres on one charge. The deck is a seven gauge steel deck. Let me lift it up. Man. Get in there so they can see. All right, bring it to my face. So one thing you need to know about this mower, this mower was not built light so it could you know, have a longer lasting battery. This mower was built absolutely for commercial use. It's, it's, it's as, uh, has as much metal as the right mowers I just showed you guys, okay? This thing's a beast. Let's, let me go show you the battery. Swing around back. Up here. This is a 16 kilowatt battery. Lasts 12, ac 12 acres, 10 to 12 acres, depending on how thick and how wet the grass is. 82 volts. Over here, to me. All right. I want to introduce you guys to somebody. About a month ago, I hired Randy. He's just out of the Air Force a couple years ago. He's doing a badass job. There's he is. Hey guys, how y'all doing? My name's Randy. I've been here for about a month. I served 20 years in the United States Air Force. I've been retired for about five years now. Uh, you guys need parts. Come on down, say hi, introduce yourself. Um, I can find anything if you don't have it or if the other uh, places don't have it, I can look it up. You can have your part usually here in about three to five days depending on what mail service is coming and bringing it in. So you guys need a oil filter, we got them. We got plenty of oil filters, we got oil, uh, hydraulic, hydraulic filters, anything to service your needs as far as your mower goes, we have it. Uh, just give us a call and uh, I'll be happy to, to say hi and introduce myself. Hi. Hey Randy, one question. What did you do in the Air Force? I was a, 
uh, aircraft mechanic, served on the uh, cargo planes, C5s, 141s a little bit, mainly C-17 and KC-10 aerial refuelers. So I got a lot of knowledge as far as parts goes uh, in the aircraft world and mowers too. So uh, it was a lot of fun and uh, it's glad to be back home in Texas. Hey, hey Randy, one, quite, one last question before we go, let, let you alone. What mower do you own? I own a bad boy diesel, the big renegade over there, 72 inch, 35 horsepower. That thing's a beast. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at the Redback section at Mower Superstore. I'm sitting on a 54 inch RZT. Great little mower for one to two acres. Uh, you're looking at about $4,000. It's got the same pumps the Magnum does for bad boy and same engine. It's Kawasaki engine. Red Max has one of the best warranties in the industry. The, the RZT series has a 400 hours or four years. The next series, the X series is a five years or 400 hours. And then the commercial mower you're looking at five years or 750 hours. That kind of a warranty is ridiculous. Bad Boy's only a two year or 200 hour warranty. Commercial is two years or unlimited hours. So the Red Max mowers, have, they stand behind them. They're a good mower. Um, here's the crazy thing I wanna show you about these mowers. Real close here. Grease certs. Here, 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 and here. All mowers. This is this is the smallest Red Max they make. All up to the commercial in the back, they all have greasable bearings. Okay, that for me as an old timer, that that makes a difference for me. That means these bearings are going to last. I've, I've I have yet to replace a spindle on a Red Max, and I've replaced a crap ton on Bad Boy. Did I just say that out loud? I shouldn't have said that, but it's the truth. All right, check this out. This is the residential. Comes with the FR730. B engine. This is the next series up. This also comes with the, the FR 730 engine, but the, this mower, this engine here, or this mower here, has a bigger transmission. As you can see, the batteries are easily accessible. They don't have the batteries in the fender like some other brands. I won't mention who. Here's a commercial 60 inch. This is the same mower that I've had at our ranch mowing 10 acres for over a year. Try it on me. Okay, so for the last two years now, we've used one of these mowers at our ranch mowing 10 acres. They have lasted, there's nothing, nothing has ever went wrong with them. Okay, I've demoed a lot of different mowers and as far as longevity and how good they're made, two thumbs up. All right, next we're going to bad boys, come with me. One thing you need to know about bad boy very easy to work on everything okay this is the smallest bad boy they make uh just lift that lid up you get to your belt tensioner right seat the seat just flips forward get to your battery real easy it's even easier than red max everything's wide open every single model from the smallest one to the biggest one which is right over there has the same features. The deck, seven gauge steel. Um, as you get bigger in the models, obviously more metal, but they all use the seven gauge steel. It's like the bigger models will use double layer seven gauge steel. All right, let's go down the line. The MZ Magnum, one to two acres. That's what they're rated for. The ZT Avenger, maybe three acres, four acres pushing it. I want you to notice something. The Avengers have this deck that is only three and a half inches tall. Go down there so they can see. So three inch tall deck. And then when you, this is a revolt. 
Stand on 36 inch. You're looking at about $66.99. Avengers, you're around the five mark. I forget the exact exact number on that. The ZT Elite is where you jump up to about, about four to five acres. This does have the big tall deck. Let's just go down there so they can see it. Close up. Get underneath the deck. Close up. Um, so if you guys want to mow tall grass that's over six inches tall you're going to want to get the zt elite or higher if you get an avenger magnum or uh yeah avenger or magnum or the rambler and you mow grass that's taller than six inches you're going to be pushing it really hard all right so here's the zt elite 54 we got the zt elite 60 inch all these ZT Elites have a uh, Briggs engine. 60 inch, we get the 48 inch. All right, next step up is the Maverick. The biggest difference between the Maverick, I have a 54 inch Briggs, and yeah, they're both Briggs. Weird. Closer. So every step up in a bad boy, you're gonna go up tire size, you're gonna go up transmission size. Once you get to the Maverick HD, which is the next step up from the Maverick, you're also going to go up on tire size, transmission size, but you're also going to go up on the seat side, uh, seat. The Maverick HD has the suspension seat, which by the way, for a big guy like me, suspension seat makes a huge difference. Um, the ZT Elite and up has a uh, suspension system on it, has these rubber grommets, show them the rubber grommets right here front and on the rear. Oh yeah, you might hear Jack Henry in the background. Last Friday, as a Friday or Saturday, Troy. Uh, I think Friday. Last Friday, we had a little craziness happen in Shiner, Texas. Here's the remnants of it. They're still cleaning up the mess. So we had about ten or twelve cars, uh, coal cars from the train, right downtown Shiner, all went all over the place. Basically what happened is uh, the axle locked up and the wheel got ground flat. And when it came here in the middle of the town, it hit, it caught on something. And I mean, there was cars and coal everywhere. Uh, luckily, one of my friends seen it happen. And luckily there wasn't a car sitting waiting at the crossing because they would have got squooshed. Oh, and that's 150 feet from us. If that would have been down 150 feet, we'd have train cars in our, in our front door, which means that I would, got, would have got to sell all my mowers at one time. Yeah, I don't. I'd rather sell to one of you guys. All right, Troy. Let's go over here and look at the rest of the bad boys. As you can see, the Maverick HD has a suspension seat. The seat does have a tilt forward option. Think skinny thoughts is what I'm trying to do right now. The Maverick is the first bow that you get. It has a ROP system, which is this right here. It flips out to protect you. This bow right here is a 54 inch Maverick HD with a Honda engine. In my opinion, the Honda engine is one of the top engines in the industry. It's also very expensive, but you pay for what you get. I've sold four Hondas in the last week and a half. Uh, people know this stuff, I guess, like they're going fast. So as you can see, there's a hole right here where one was. Let me just show you this. A Maverick HD is the first one in the commercial lineup. Look at that, just like the little guy. Else, they can see the backside. Hey, uh, look at that. Lots of open spaces. Get to your battery real easy. Here's your emergency brake. Just your de uh, deck up and down, throttle, hour meter. There's your uh, start your blades, ignition. Oh, here's something you guys want to know. When you go look at mowers, 
how you can tell an engine is a commercial engine versus a residential engine is if it has this air cleaner. It have, if it has a circular air cleaner on top with this little lid thingy up here, that's what you want. That's the commercial engine. Uh, a lot of companies, a lot of companies will tell you it's a commercial engine, but they don't have this air filter on them. Got to have that air filter. Of course, this is my opinion. Somebody else out there is going to try to sell you something different. But as you know, look at all these bad boys here. Here's a Kawasaki and the Rebel 850V. It's got the same tube, different different engine company, but they have the same filter. Uh, when you jump from the Maverick HD, hey Troy, come back please. Let's just stay right here for a while. When you jump from the Maverick HD to the Rebel, you lose that front suspension a little bit, but you get the through the suspension at the back. It has a better, bigger tube frame. Check this out over here. See that? Uh, you can plug your phone in right there. Right there. Hour meter. This has a suspension seat as well. All the commercial bad boys have a suspension seat. Here it is over here. The Rogue 852. This is the Kawasaki 8, 850. And I have another Rogue with a Kawasaki 850. So I have three. Okay, so here, check this out. This is the difference. This is a 999 CC. So this is the big 40 horse. That one back there is a 32 horse. So I got both engine options. Oh, check this out. Look at this baby. This is a Rogue 824cc Yamaha engine. Troy drove this. We raced against this the other day. I had the Renegade. Uh, my brother-in-law had the Rebel. And Troy had this Rogue here with the Yamaha. The Yamaha won by two to three miles per hour. Uh, I just think it's geared a little bit different, a little bit faster. So I have a bunch of Rogues, a bunch of Rebels. I have more commercial mowers than I've ever had from Bad Boy. Come on down. We got some really good prices going right now. I don't really want to say it online because I don't want my competition to figure it out. So, call me. All right. Let's go to World Lawn. Oh, well, I forgot one. This is the biggest and the baddest of bad boys. It's a Renegade with a 993 gas-powered engine. It's a Vanguard engine. This thing is a beast. I would put this up against about anything out there. Except for maybe a Wright or a Ferris. Alright. Hey guys. This is my favorite brand of mowers. Ferris. I am sitting on my favorite mower. 3300 from Ferris. It has coilover shocks. Best in the industry. Smoothest ride. Like, the smoothest ride you'll ever see. All right, let me show you everything about the Ferris and why I like it the best. Look at this, flow, this uh, forward sloping nose with a reinforced edge at the bottom. Oh, and check this out. You wanna get through a gate, you flip this little flap up, slide it forward, it stays up. Not forever, it is just resting on a bolt, but it will stay up for it to get you through a gate. This electronic sensor in this uh, throttle position here will sense when you hit tall grass and ramp up the engine. Around the engine. Oh, right here, check this out. It has rear suspension, coilover shock on the rear. A 30, let's see here. A 40 horsepower Vanguard engine with the oil guard system on it, just like the right. So you're only changing oil every 500 hours. Dual tank system with the fuel switch right there. Oh, and check this, check this seat out up here, guys. This is the most comfortable seat in the industry. It better be because it's expensive. Now, let me breathe my face. Guys, this is a 3300, okay? It's the biggest mower they make. And it's like 15, it's supposed to be like 17 grand, something like that. Uh, the 2200, you're at like high 12s. 
So next step down, then you go to, like I said, it goes, it goes 3,300, 2,200, 800. All three of those have the big suspension, okay? And then you drop down to the 600, 700, 600, and 500. Those have coil suspension in the rear, small suspension up front. Um, if you have five acres or more, stick with the big suspension. If you have less than that, then the small suspension would be great for you. All right, guys, give me a phone call. Number is 361 339-0640. I'd be happy to uh, hook you up on some financing. We offer zero down, zero percent for 48 months. Uh, that is on top of the cash price. So if you, let's say a cash price is, is 15 grand, you're, all dealers are gonna put a dealer fee on you when they finance, just depending on which mower it is, how much the finance fee is. Give me a call, I'll hook you up.